بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اٹ از مائی آنر ٹو ویلکم یو مسٹر پرائم منسٹر ٹو دا فارن آفس اینڈ ٹو دا کنکلوڈنگ سیشن آف دی انوائز کانفرنس آئی ایم آلسو گریٹ فل ٹو ادر ڈسٹنگوش گیس اینڈ ویلکم دی انوائز اینڈ دیئر گولیگس مسٹر پرائم منسٹر دی ایف ایس ول شارٹلی پریزینٹ دی مین کنکلوژنز اینڈ ریکمنڈیشنز امرجنگ فرام دس کانفرنس وچ ریویوز دا مین اچیومنٹس ان دا پاسٹ تھری ایئرس and the challenges ahead we must address in the coming two years. Our objective assessment of the past three years, Mr. Prime Minister, you will be happy to know, does not support the view being projected in a section of the media that Pakistan is being isolated and its foreign policy lacks uh, direction. In fact, we are now more connected than ever and uh, more integrated than before. Your vision of a strong, vibrant, and prosperous Pakistan and a peaceful neighborhood has been pursued with great dedication so that the benefits translate into a more robust pace of a socio-economic development and the benefits reach the people. Mr. Prime Minister, your vi this vision was clearly spelled out in your election manifesto. Pakistan is located at an important junc junction of South Asia, West Asia, and Central Asia. The country could be a bridge between energy-rich Central Asia and Iran on the one side and energy-deficit countries in South Asia on the other. Pakistan's coastal belt facilitates access to warm waters and oil-rich Gulf as well as international oil supply lines passing through the state of Hormuz. Pakistan can also develop a flourishing transit economy because it provides the shortest land route from Western China to the Arabian Sea through the Gawadar port while linking India with Afghanistan and Central Asian republics and providing uh, land routes from Iran to Central Asia and to Central, Asian, uh, Central African Republic. The translation of this bold vision uh, in a short period is clearly illustrated by the monumental achievements uh, uh, of which is reflected in CPEC, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, and the strategic partnership with China. Similarly, The second main achievement is the enhanced engagement and cooperation with Central Asian republics. And the concrete results of that are Kaza 1000 brings electricity from Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, the Tapi gas pipeline, and restoration of air links with Central Asian countries. Thirdly, the full membership of SEO, uh, reflecting new ge geopolitical realignments of the region. And that's why when this period is reviewed, it will be proved that Pakistan is on the right side of history. Fourth, the resumption of strategic dialogue with USA to broaden the agenda from security to geoeconomics while protecting our vital national interest. Similarly, deeper economic and trade links to EU and Russia and reinforcing traditional ties with Muslim countries by <coughs> strengthening our economic ties. And as you will be pleased to know that despite all the decline in oil prices, Last year, we exported 950,000 workers uh, to, the, to the world, which included 523 million, 523 million workers to Saudi Arabia and 326 million workers to UAE. This is the addition in single year of our workforce uh, in these countries, which shows the growing economic uh, relationship. 